Hello, friends, and good evening. It is now time that I record the second part of my punishment for finishing in last place in the review and preview quick pick standings. And this is going to be just as painful as it was the last punish the last part of the punishment I did. Because what I'll be doing is taking an unpleasant trip down memory lane right about now. Anytime I hear see that video, it's just, ugh. but you know what it is what it is. And really, if you want to get technical, that trip real the trip down memory lane really only went ten years, not to Philadelphia. In fact, the ironic part is this game that I will be talking about happened at a home stadium, and yours truly just so happened to be in attendance that day. I am, of course, talking about the miracle at the Meadowlands between the Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles on December 19th, 2010. And what everybody remembers about this game was this moment. As you can tell, Deshaun Jackson's way in the back of the end zone. Best in the NFL, or not in the back of the end zone. He's getting ready to return this. Matt Dodge is about to punt. And as you, as you saw what happened, all he had to do was punt this out of bounds. For a touchdown this year. The snap right there was the first instance where something may have gone wrong. Look how high that was. Let's play this again. Turn one for a touchdown this year. I think if it had been a normal snap, who knows, maybe it would have turned different, turned out differently, but I digress. Then let's look at the punt itself. And it's a line drive kick. Notice what Joe Buck says here. A line drive kick. This wasn't a ball that was like traveling fairly high into the air. This is a straight up line drive kick. Did not go deep. Jackson has it, but then he buffs it. And I think that also may have been a turning point because the Giants who were about, about to try to tackle him probably weren't going to get him as easily because now he gets the ball back. And now... Doesn't look good for him here. Has to try and recover. There's one missed tackle. Look at these two bumping into each other. Number 66 and Chase Blackburn. Here he goes. The only one left at this moment who can tackle him is the punter himself. Jackson. He lifts. And I believe that's Zach Yossi getting pancaked by one of the Eagles. Are you kidding? And at this point, there's nobody left to tackle him. Deshaun Jackson! And look at that bastard. All he has is a clear, clear way into the end zone. DJ Ware can't even get him, and he just he's just dancing around. Still sh- being a show-off, now, it- now he walks into the end zone. One of the more traumatizing experiences. Game's over. For the touchdown, no flags! And now, the other part about this that, that hurts. No time left. Look at Tom Coughlin right there. He's a, He looks like he's about to pop a blood vessel. Eagles win. Here he is yelling at Matt Dodge, and rightfully so, because the ball should have been out of bounds. And that's one of the most enduring images I'll have of this game forever. With that being said, though, let's go back to the beginning of this clip. Look at the scoreboard. It's tied at 31. There's 14 seconds. As much as you want to shame Matt Dodge for this fiasco, was it really his fault? Well, not entirely. Let's take a look at some of the other mishaps that happened in this game. For instance, how did this all start? Well, as Tom and I have said numerous times on episodes of Big Blue Avenue, the Giants can't cover tight ends. And let's take a look at this first touchdown that they give up. So right here, 
Here's Michael Vick getting ready to snap the ball. On first down. Throws it. I don't know how Brett Selleck is wide open. Look at these two defenders. They are nowhere near. They are not as close to him as they should be. Somehow, I believe that's Kenny Phillips who misses the tackle. Justin Tuck has no shot. Terrell Thomas gets absolutely pancaked. Selleck gets a block. And Selleck has a clear pass to the end zone. This was the play that started it. And again, like Tom and I have said, the Giants have struggled to cover tight ends. This isn't a this isn't a problem that's gone away. We've talked about this a lot this year. We've talked about this even on our first season of Big Blue Avenue. Let's get to the second play that changed this game around. There, now we get to the onside kick. So here's Did Akers not getting ready. Production and handle it the way that he has has been admirable. Here's an onside kick. Giant, look at this. Riley Cooper catches this easily. The Giants are completely caught napping. There's really nothing more I can say. How they were ill prepared for this, considering. How much time was left, I don't know, but that is absolutely mind-blowing. That was the main reason. That more so than the touchdown itself are some of the main reasons why I think the Giants ended up losing this game. However, then there, then there's this one other play that happens, and here we go. Here's Michael Vick with the ball. Get it at just the right distance. Down. Deion Grant has him. At least you think he should. But he completely misses him. This was the uh, the third turning point. In this Side steps a game. sack, and now we'll take it right up the middle of the field. Give credit to Michael Vick where credit is due. He was good at escaping a lot of those pressures, but how do you not sack the guy? But that's really all I have to say. I've talked enough about this disaster and catastrophic loss in giant history. And I still cannot believe I had the misfortune of being at this game, but on the bright side, it did, it did lead to something good a year later, but that's, that's the point. This is a big example as to why the giants often struggle against the Philadelphia Eagles. And thank you for watching some film sessions with the Hankster. And that was the end of the second part of my punishment and folks, a little PSA for you. Never lose the, never lose a quick pick punishment at review and preview sports. It never ends. Well, I'll see you guys later.